Hello stampers and crafters, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah McGuire from Sassy Paper Crafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today's project is this one. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little envelope. It's kind of an envelope but it's more of a gift card holder and it's going to be using the Latte Love bundle from the A Little Latte Suite from Stampin' Up! So if you'd like to see how to make this gift card holder, please keep watching. So to start our project, we're going to need to cut and score our designer series paper and I'm also going to be using paper from the A Little Latte Suite. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say really fast, but this is included in the suite as well as the adhesive back swirled dots and the natural polka dot trim, which I don't have handy right now, but that is what you get when you purchase the entire suite. The A Little Latte Suite is an online exclusive. This is the bundle, so this is the stamp set. We'll be using this for the beans and the sentiment here. Um, there are 15 photopolymer stamps, and it coordinates with the Latte Love dies, which has a French press, mugs, um, a regular like percolator, spoons, all kinds of things. We're only going to be using two dies, though. Today we're going to be using the little like, cluster of coffee beans and then one of the single ones. And then I also pulled this one for our sentiment and this is from the unbounded love dies which if you don't like the stamp set that goes with this that's fine the dies alone are gorgeous all kinds of little label dies i have some of my scrap pieces in there as well but it's a wonderful die set especially if you don't like know what you should be getting for dies i recommend labels all the time because they're so versatile so we're going to get out our stamps too while I'm at it. Then I will show you how to cut the paper. So we're going to need that little cluster of beans there. One single one and then our sentiment. This one's on me. Get some blocks. I have an A block for our single coffee bean. And then a B block for our cluster there. And a C block for our sentiment. Now I can move these out of the way and show you how you're going to cut your paper. So I have my paper cut down to a six by six. And what we're gonna do is grab our paper trimmer and bring that in. And I'm just gonna line up the corners. So there's this, this is the track that cuts if you have the Stampin' Up paper trimmer. If not, you can do this with any paper trimmer you have. I'm just putting both corners in the track so that I know it's going to cut a straight diagonal line. So I'm just going to hold that and then we're going to cut straight down. So now you should have two triangles. You can make two of these little gift card holders out of one 6x6 six six sheet of Desire Series paper. I'm going to put one of these to the side and I'm going to flip this over. Make sure my cutting blade is up at the top because now we're going to score. And what I'm going to do is it's going to fold in this way. So this is our top here. So we want our score lines to go down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to score this at two and a half and five and a half. And here's my two and a half line here. I just like to follow that down and I put the point there. You could also flip this around if you wanted. It makes it a lot easier actually. So let's do that. So there's two and a half right here. We're going to follow that up. And these are approximate measurements, but I did two and a half, and then we're gonna go over to five and a half. And now we have our score lines. And you can also score the top if you want to make it more of like an envelope. I did on that one. I don't think I'm going to on this one, but that's it. It's super, super simple. So you just score it two and a half, five and a half, and then you fold in your sides. Now, if you have any overlap, I did on this one just because it was slightly off a bit. You can cut just a teeny bit. So I realized the problem and we're going to do this again. So you don't want a piece of six by six. You want a piece of five and a half by five and a half, which is, you know, you still get two out of one six by six. So it's similar, but different. So five and a half by five and a half, you could do six by six too if you wanted. I have now a five and a half by five and a half. I'm going to show you where I messed up. So we're going to cut that in half again, lining up those corners. I now have two pieces 
and we are going to line up at two and a half. But what I'm going to do differently this time, instead of going down to five and a half, because it is not the same, is I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to find that two and a half line, which is right there, and I'm going to set that right there and do a score. Now these should be even. Whoops. There, now that's right in the middle, everything is even. I'm gonna show you one more time with our other triangle. We're gonna start at two and a half. So there's my two and a half. I'm going up, score line. We're gonna flip it around, follow that two and a half line down. Right there. Score. And there you go. So I figured it out. <laughs> So we're going to now put down our adhesive. Now you want an adhesive that is strong, but also that's precise. So you could definitely use liquid glue for this. My problem with liquid glue is it takes a minute to dry. So I'm going to use tear and tape because it's very strong, um, but also I can put it right where I want. You don't have quite as much control like seal or seal plus, plus they're a little bit wider than the tear and tape. So I'm just taking the backing off with my take your pick tool. I'm just going to fold the one edge over and now I'm going to take a little bit of tear and tape and put it on the other flap. You don't want to put it on the calypso coral part because it might overlap. Then I'm just going to take the backing off just like that. Make sure it's kind of lined up. And then too, you might have this little piece that's kind of open. That bothers me a little bit. So I'm going to take a glue dot and peel that off and stick it right down here and push. Now we can decorate with our early espresso and our coffee beans and our sentiment. And you might hear some whining in the background. I recently got a puppy and he's not very happy that he's not allowed in the craft room right now. So I have the early espresso. We're just gonna ink that up and stamp right on early espresso cardstock. It's probably really hard to see, but that's okay. It is there, I did stamp on it. And now I have a piece of basic white and I'm gonna ink up our sentiment. So I'm only using one ink color for this and you can use the opposite side um, if that's what you like. Use any design you want. This actually works for any designer series paper. So now that our um, stamping is done, I am just going to die cut everything out and then I can show you how to put this card together. So now that all of our pieces are die cut, we can put everything together. So I'm gonna grab a dimensional, and you can use mini dimensionals if you have them, if you prefer them. I'm using a regular one. I'm just gonna stick that to the side. And then for our uh, coffee beans, I'm gonna use some glue dots. Let's stick one on there. Stick the other one and then just peel them off. And these are just kind of going to go randomly just like that. And then to finish our card, oops, I'm going to use some of those um, swirl dots. And there's pecan pie here, petal pink, and I think that's very vanilla. And I think those are the ones I'm going to go with. I'm going to stick them right on the ends of our label there and you can put any kind of gift card in here you want. I chose Big B because that's one of my favorite coffee places. <laughs> but it slides right in and if you wanted to make it more secure you definitely could put a glue dot or something there to hold the gift card in place. I find like it sticks just fine when you put it in the envelope. <laughs> But that is our project, so I hope you enjoyed this project today. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channels to see more videos from me. That puppy is going nuts. I gotta go. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.